I was just looking for a picture for machine learning. It's kind of interesting. I mean, how do I feel about it? How do I think about it? And in a way, this seemed to be more where what I was what I wanted. You know the my computer, my laptop. I've been working with it, teaching it, and it's about to stand on its own feet. I like this one as well. I mean that that's more where we're at. I might look around later to see you know if there's something better but Google Images is a nice place to you know get a kind of a selection of the different ways I mean how, how people view uh, machine learning in this case you can obviously search for whatever you're interested in the reason I'm talking about that is this is the first weekend where I've placed a collection of bets purely following what the computer says. Now you can say, oh, you were using the Poisson model before, where you were doing simulations, which were done by the computer, and using that to guide your bets. Using that to go, okay, the, the model is saying, I expect three or more goals to be scored, so that's why I'm placing that bet. Before that, I was using soccer stats. So using stats to look for patterns and go, okay, um, Arsenal at home, no, Chelsea at home, have been th have had three or more goals. 90% of the time. I actually didn't know that before. Uh, that caught me a bit by surprise. So, using statistics, just the actual data, counting how often has this happened so far. And basically, you know, if this has happened 90% of the time, I'm happier to say that it's going to happen again. You know, that probably, that to me says that Chelsea have a very good attack. You could say, oh, you could have a high scoring uh, game because of a poor defence, but I know that Chelsea don't have a bad defence. With the addition that Yes, earlier on, they did have a couple of high-scoring uh, games where their defence was poor. I mean, again, being an Arsenal supporter, I remember that. I think Liverpool as well beat them comfortably. So, we began, and I began, you know, when I'm doing my betting, to... We began using, by using statistics, by using data, by doing our homework, looking and going, oh, okay, typically these games are high scoring. I'd look at, who are Chelsea playing? Chelsea playing Spurs, no, sorry. Chelsea are playing Hull. That screams high scoring. So Chelsea 
90%, and I think Hull... Oh. But they've had... A, uh, it's only 50%. So Hull away have only been involved in three or more goals games half the time. Now, I don't know what's going on with Chelsea due to what's... We don't, I don't know what's going on with uh, Costa. But basically, you know, we'd go through using soccer stats, which which has done a lot of our homework for us, you know, get, making it easy, packaging the data in a convenient way. So, for example, how about both teams to score? Chelsea at home, they don't tend to have uh, both teams to score because Chelsea have one of the best home uh, defensive records you know keeping a clean sheet 60% of the time if I look at Hull away that they don't ha- seem to have both teams scoring that much either so fail to score away where is Hull? There. Okay, so they are lowish on this table. So, I mean, um, they, they tend not to score. They've only, they have failed to score in half their games away. So, that would be the methodology that I would have been using. And that's a sensible approach where you're actually making your decisions based on data, based on uh, how has this team done? How, how, what typically happens in a game with, say, Chelsea or Arsenal? If I go, I, I look at Arsenal at home and go, okay, Arsenal at home. Both teams tend to score. Surprisingly, Man United, because being a Mourinho team, I would have thought uh, their home defence would have been excellent. This weekend, Man City are playing Spurs. Man City seem to have both teams scoring nearly all the time. I just want to look at Spurs. Spurs away tend to have both teams scoring so a typical bet for me would be this suggests that Man City Spurs is going to be both teams to score and I'd look to bet on that unless the odds were were very poor so we began basing things on statistics, on data, on how often things had happened. We then noticed that the Poisson distribution seems to be very good. That the that the goals scored follow up seem to follow a Poisson distribution. I mean there's it's not perfect, but it's surprisingly accurate so it's worth investigating that so we did now there's still more to be done um, so you know I saw that if you use a correlated Poisson distribution that matches the results found better than just uh, looking at both scores as independent Poisson things so I'll tr- come back to the Poisson and you know tweak it a bit more to see how much better we can uh, we can make it. Otherwise, the new Golden Boy is machine learning. That seems to be pr- 
producing better results than we've ever had before. It seems to be outperforming people. It seems to be perform outperforming, as I said, pretty much anything. So I wanted to then go, okay, what can I do with machine learning? What, what can it tell us? And the early results have been encouraging. It seems to do at least as well, in fact, better than leading human experts. So, you know, your football pundits who have been involved in the game since the 70s or 80s and, you know, really know their stuff. We can compare what have they said, what have they predicted, how accurate have they been with how accurate our uh, machine learning system is. In fact, I also have um, tips from professional um, football bettors. I don't know exactly their methodologies. They're pretty good. So how does the machine do compared to what even the expert football bettors are, are saying? You know, who will be using a variety of techniques, who will be using at least these statistics and maybe more. So that's, that's our comparison system to kind of place where we are compared to the alternative. And already, even in the you know really early days of version, I mean, I, I, I can easily, uh, I mean, I would say that the current system I have is maybe 20, 30% complete. There's so much more that can easily be added, and I will be adding in the coming weeks. But even that simple basic system, well, it predicted that the Man United Liverpool game would be a draw. It also predicted that Everton would beat City, which on the radio, on TV, everyone was shocked by. So it seems to be able to see something. Now, the oddity here is that I don't know. It is a black box. The, the computer is just giving me a prediction. It, I just tell it, this team is playing that team, it does blah, whatever it's doing after taking into account all the things that it does it spits out an answer so i'll see how it does this weekend it did well over the last two weekends you know, I mean, um, when I, th that was early days testing. Now, we put it in action. And just to, you know, keep things more interesting, I'll just give two tips that it has made. Where did I lead? Sorry about that. Okay. Um, Crystal Palace to beat Everton and Middlesbrough to beat West Ham. So I'll see how that does. I have the complete sheet of all the matches. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs>